After the first wave of flood relief distributions in Myanmar's Bago region in mid-August, city volunteers return once again to Bago on August 23rd to hold another distribution to benefit some 207 households at a local temple. Among the recipients was a 72-year-old grandmother who has really taken to heart city's spirit of the bamboo coin bank. Oh. Upon a return visit to hold a second distribution by city volunteers, a local mayor, Uso Nine, also lends his assistance, as he was impressed by the first distribution a week earlier. In all the time our region has flooded, I have never once witnessed volunteers visit each affected household. It was very moving and touching. One of the flood survivors volunteers visited was 72-year-old Dati Timar. <laughs> After your visit, I was extremely happy. I told my daughter Tidi came to visit me and shared with me how I can help the less fortunate by donating rice or money in my bamboo bank. With Jean's aphorisms on her wall in the past six days, it has become a habit for the senior to donate to her bamboo coin bank. I donate to give back to society. Wanting to get to know Tsuji better, the former stroke patient, who is also a devoted Muslim, walked 20 minutes to the distribution venue, which is at a local temple. Besides Bago City, Wa Township was also flooded, and thus volunteers have also prepared rice, soybeans, cooking oil, and emergency cash for the victims. Tima members have also tagged along to make sure flood survivors are in good health.